Micronesia is uh, known for uh, navigation, uh, navigating among stars. It's embedded in our constitution. The preamble of our constitution did say how, how it is that we voyage among stars. So this is one of the ways in which we could show the world that uh, sailing using wind energy and reviving the skills of navigation I'm proud of the uh, crew. Subsistence is our uh, way of life. We know the relationship with the environment because it's our livelihood. This boat, the uh, Baka Motu, you can see that this is something that uh, FSM to make these type of voyages become bus service throughout the outer islands. How this can be used for public health and uh, education to go out there, transport supplies, uh, people, passengers to go out there and help the outer islands that are so isolated. So I thank the governor, uh, Gibson and Governor uh, Falan for taking the initiative. And I'm proud that we're part of the program joining President Haini in Marshall Islands. and. Uh, President I admire the man because he's a champion of the uh, of, uh, environment and ways of reviving uh, our way of life in the past, a very sustainable way of uh, life. Fossil fuels, what we import, cost the country and the states a lot of money. In terms of uh, sea transport, uh, government spends billions annually, I'd say several million dollars a year. These Okeanos Pakamoto use only local, sustainable and clean energies like wind, solar and coconut biofuel. And as you know, FSM is leading in biofuel with the FSM Petroleum Corporation Fidel's Coconut Processing Plant in Tanawas Chuk with the potential of exporting about 1 million gallons of coconut per year. Seeing climate change as the prominent issue uh, FSM, we say our, our position on climate change will be, has been strong, will be strong and will continue to be steadfastly strong. It's alarming and scary. I appeal to everyone, including uh, countries like the United States, to come back to the table and uh, become the champions of uh, climate change. Uh, they need to join the Pacific Island countries because our life uh, is threatened by you know, sea level rise and it's an existential threat to our, to our people. Because as, uh, as indigenous uh, people to revive our way of life, I think we need to show uh, how we can also revive this uh, traditional way of uh, transportation. This is a... Uh, oh, <laughs> this is good. <laughs> Am I doing the right thing? Are we in the right direction or where should I go? <laughs> the <car> go? <laughs>